Okay, so uh, James Lawless, uh, Fianna Fáil Technology Spokesperson. Um, today I met with Mark Zuckerberg of Facebook uh, in Dublin, uh, along with GDs Hildegard Nocton and Eamon Ryan. Uh, the three of us are members of the International Committee on Disinformation, which is a grand committee across parliaments uh, tackling the issues of fake news and disinformation online. Um, I've been very proactive on this for the last couple of years. Um, I published legislation in the Dáil uh, in 2017. Uh, coming hot on the heels of US presidential election, Brexit, um, and the whole issue of electoral integrity uh, worldwide, uh, that campaigns are being interfered with, uh, that votes are being manipulated uh, by online actors, um, between lack of transparency, nobody knowing who was running particular ads, how they worked, uh, who was behind them, who was paying for them, and all the basics that you would expect to see from an, an, an electoral system with integrity. Um, the meeting went well. Um, I put to him about the issues of uh, data protection, data privacy, um, how we can manage uh, Facebook better and how we can manage our electro systems better. Um, and he engaged, I think, pretty robustly on that. So uh, quite a productive meeting. Um, I asked him to prove his good intention. Uh, for example, would he transfer the 1.5 billion uh, data sets that were transferred out of Ireland on the eve of GDPR back into Ireland again? Um, he said he'd look at it. And uh, we invited him to come to Ireland for the Grand Committee in November. Um, he's going to, you know, and sit in a public session in the Oireachtas. He's going to look at that as well. Um, and I, I put it to him that how can Facebook claim to be a publisher, uh, or sorry, a platform, uh, when really it has all the attributes of a publisher? Um, it moderates content, it approves content, it takes down content at times, um, it's sophisticated uh, and selectively markets uh, people in terms of advertising. And those are all the things you would expect a, a publisher to do, and yet it claims to be a platform which is immune from defamation laws, immune from other obligations. Um, and you know that's just to give a flavour of some of the topics we discussed. Uh, I think it was a very worthwhile session. Uh, we were in for a good hour and 20 minutes in the room together, uh, only eight people in the room. So we'd go you know, behind closed doors. So it was a good, robust engagement, um, worthwhile doing, but the battle continues. Uh, the government are still to progress my uh, social media transparency bill. Um, the committee have approved it, the committee have moved it on at every stage, been voted through by uh, two dollar votes I think at this point, but the government needs to release a money message uh, and release their technical objections to it. If we're serious about electoral integrity, if we're serious about social media regulation, um, the government need to, to join the rest of us and catch up uh, in making that happen.